Right, so big, uh, big haul today, this week, uh, to kind of make up with the fact that I'm <laughs> not getting, not getting comments for the rest of the month. Uh, just, yeah, big haul today, uh, basically the last half of February, uh, lots of catching up from, uh, for Moon Knight as well. I'm pretty much there with Moon Knight now. I'm starting the new run. Uh, so all I have is like the, the number two of Vengeance of Moon Knight and then I'm, and then I'm up to date. Uh, and then there's just all of, all of this, uh, all of the other stuff. Uh, starting off, I got, um, finally done with Ghost Rider. I've got 20 and 21. Uh, yeah, 21 being the last issue. Um, yeah, that is, that's Ghost Rider, that's Ghost Rider done then. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, get those read and I think I might do a video talking about that whole run in general. What I, just what I thought of that run in general. Uh, Green Lantern, uh, Green Lantern War Journal number six. Uh, this series has been great so far. Philip Kennedy Johnson, uh, showing with, uh, his, uh, his current books at the moment, uh, this one and Hulk, uh, why he's a really competent, just workman, good writer. Just a really, uh, just a really solid, um, portfolio of work uh this being great and hulk also being very good at the moment uh daredevil number six uh this has been great we finally have the kind of um idea and set up for what this what this story and this book is going to be about at least for the first uh the first little chunk of it um you know, five five issues is a lot to a lot to get into that. Like usually, issue six would be would be finishing the first arc, but we're 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 only just getting into the meat and potatoes of the run in general. And I'm I'm along for the ride. I'm in on it now. I I get where it's going and I'm excited to see where it's going and to see what other characters are going to pop up and what sins they're going to be uh, taken over by and what um, and how Daredevil uh, kind of deals with them. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy annual number one. This is the end of the Kelly and Lansing run. Uh, I've I've really uh, kind of gotten on board with this. I think the last issue, uh, number ten, uh, was was great. Uh, this I hope is more of that. I just I just want this want this series to to go out well. I want it to go out with a bang and not with a whimper. But usually when uh, Jackson Lansing, Colin Kelly have. Um, Usually when they have uh, a run that they end in one of these like annuals, it ends up feeling a little bit, um, a little bit rushed. I hope that's not the case for Guardians, but I've heard from their Captain America and other stuff that it's, it's got, I've heard that it's gone a little bit off the rails at the end, um. Incredible Hulk number nine. I'm really enjoying this book. Again, still, uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson just knows what, knows what he's doing. Um, just writing a really good, solid Hulk story here and writing a really good, solid, uh, John Stewart story over on, uh, over in Go Green Lantern War Journal. Uh, I haven't had the chance to catch up with the main Green Lantern book yet. I've heard it. I've heard both. Um, Benny the cor uh, comic historian seems to think it's it's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, 
at my comic book shop, they're like, it's, it's, it's not great. It's, uh, kind of making, <laughs> kind of making, um, Hal Jordan look like a bit of a creep, a bit of a weirdo. Uh, but, but I guess I'll, I'll wait until I've, I've read it to make my own opinions on it. Uh, Blade number eight. I feel like I'm the only person reading this. More people should be reading this, and I hope it hope it doesn't end at number ten, uh, which is what a lot of series seem to seem to be doing is ending at ten. Because uh, Black Panther, I'll talk about that later, but Black Panther is ending at ten, uh, or I think going on a break at ten, uh, which is a shame because I really liked that series, uh, or I've been really liking that series so far, and I hope. I hope it's just a break. I hope it's not the end entirely. Um, but yeah, I've I've been really enjoying Blade so far, and I hope it doesn't end anytime soon. I know we've got that blood hunt, um, that blood hunt uh, event going on, and Blade's going to be a big part of that. So I'm hoping that. Uh, I'm hoping that Blade stays a big deal and stays with a book, at least until the video game comes out. I hope. I hope the the run lasts until then. And then we've got Black Panther number nine. Uh, like I said, the next the next issue is the last one. Um, I'm I'm really sad about that actually because this has been a really great series. Uh, in my opinion, it's been just a whole lot of fun. Just a whole lot of fun. Um, it's great to see Black Panther in a different light, in a different um, kind of... in a different uh, place than you would usually see him, seeing this more street-level version of Black Panther. It's just a lot of fun. Just a, a lot of fun, and it's it's very different to any... Black Panther that's come before. And then we've got all of the Moon Knight stuff. Uh, so we've got uh, Moon Knight number 27, 28, 29, 30. This one drawn by Greg Capullo. Uh, it's, he's apparently going to be doing Wolverine soon. Uh, which I'm very excited for, and Vengeance of Moon Knight, uh, or Vengeance of the Moon Knight, uh, number one, uh, apparently the Miller cover, uh, had a bit of a joke about this, um, uh, uh, Frank Miller seems to be making a resurgence, at least in the cover space, and uh, just, like, trying to, just like, he's one of those, artists and writers where some things like the Dark Knight Returns and his old Daredevil stuff um some of it is some of it is gold some of it is like the most memorable like iconic runs on these characters and some of the 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 biggest stories of these characters but I think he should just retire now uh it's, it's like He's being paid with cocaine, like a lot of a lot of his work. His uh, Superman Year One uh, was basically just him. It was just an exercise in can you write a comic on cocaine, uh, and apparently people still buy it. Apparently, people will still buy it. Uh, that being said, uh, I do think Marvel just have him hooked up to like you know that machine in the Simpsons. Uh, when Homer goes to hell and he's just being force fed donuts. I imagine that's what they're doing, but instead of donuts, it's just, it's just like lines of cocaine that they're, uh, they've got Fra Frank Miller hooked up to. I, uh, you know, I just, I reckon that that's the thing possibly. Uh, but also, I'm glad that he's, he's only in the cover space. I'm glad that he's not. He's not like writing a book <laughs> because all of his books, uh, at least recently, just haven't hit. <laughs> they just haven't hit at all, really. Um, but yeah, uh, 
Moon Knight has been great, and I'm really, I'm really uh, excited to get it, to get the the Moon Knight run up to number thirty done. I'm glad. I'm I'm excited to get into those and get them read, uh, and to see where it's going with the new run as well. Um, I'm glad that it's the same creative team. It's basically just a sequel book. It's not like new number one, new story starts here, new readers can come in here. Uh, again, it would be, I would, I would, I would have liked it if it was just, if it did just go to 31. Um, but also, new number ones get, get readers, it gets money. Uh, anyways, I will end this video here. Let me know in the comments what you've been reading, what you've been picking up. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.